All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhelsia 3. Guys, we haven't started a video out here in a while. Um, but the reason we uh, need to start a video over here is because of what we're doing today. So, a while back, we went ahead and set up a bunch of tritium. And we also set up a bunch of duridium, dur 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 whatever it's called. And we actually need to go ahead and move this uh, setup over to the new area. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to be collecting all of this stuff up. Uh, we're going to be setting this up down below uh, what we did last episode. If you guys missed that, I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, we set up a pr an area to uh, do all the processing for our nuclear waste. Uh, yeah, so um means we're also going to have to set up another one of these guys. Um, actually, two more of these guys, so I might need to just bring both of them. Actually, yeah, that's probably a pretty good idea. Let's turn on some vein mining. Though this has been the bane of my existence previously. I don't think that turned on. Yeah, it did. Okay. And the uh, the wood, the water mills, since we switched over to the server, have been kind of weird lately. Um, so we're just going to kind of ignore those. All right. All right, so this has been all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and steal these here. Uh, we're gonna leave. Well, we're actually just gonna take these guys because um, they're kind of in the way. We don't need them anymore. And uh, yeah, we're done. So we're gonna go ahead. Or I'm also gonna collect this as well. All right, and with that collected, we can go ahead and uh, say goodbye to this area. Um, not this area in whole, but just this area, because this doesn't do anything anymore. And then this doesn't do anything anymore. We're pretty much not going to do anything else here. And what is in this? <gasps> oh. I got some concrete in there. That'll be helpful for later on. Cool. All right, guys. So over here, this is what we did last episode. And since last episode, I've actually gone ahead and kind of chiseled this whole thing out down here. Now, this isn't actually where we're going to be putting it. Uh, we're going to have multiple floors here. Uh, but the... The floor in the middle, I actually want to have, like, um, I, I would like to have, uh, like, like the, the area be, like, the sections here in the walls are going to be um, where, like, all of our brine is going to be processed. But then I want it to kind of come out into the middle here, right? And then each one of these have, like, little pathways coming in. And I want the reactor to be in the middle here. Uh, but I also want it so that there's glass to see to the next two levels. Um, kind of like we, like, well, might not even need glass. Could just have openings to the next levels. But we're just going to have a little platform here out in the middle. And this is where our reactor is going to be. And then there's going to be an area around it. Um, I actually just came up with another. Give me one sec. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the reactor pieces built. Worried about this later on, we need to design the room first, which is kind of weird to think about, uh, but just trust me, I'm, uh, I think this is going to turn out really good. So we need a whole bunch of these uh, fusion reactor frames. Now, if you remember, we set up the automatic atomic alloys, and we also have a bunch of polyam pellets, uh, so we just got to make sure we have the steel casings available for it. Looks like we do. Um, there we go. So we need a total of 78 of these, so 64... So we just need 14 more, so there we go. Wait. Yep, 78, perfect. All right, guys, so what we need is we need uh, these fission, fusion reactor frames. We need a bunch of the, we need a fusion reactor controller, three fusion reactor ports, um, 12 lasers, three of these laser amplifiers, and one laser focus matrix. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this horam, horam. It's German. I don't know what it is. But we, what we need to do is we have carbon. We just need to throw one, two, three, four of these in here. Not like that. Like this. We get this horam. Hor. Ram. I don't know what it's called. Let's go ahead and get our thingamabobber doohickey set up. All right, so the structure here is built. We just need to pop this guy in. That's the controller. And then we're going to take our ports and our focus. Uh, which is the closest one to our base? Um, OK. 
Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to spawn these guys in. Okay, so we're going to put a port here, port here, port here, and this is where the beam's coming from. Boop. Bam! Look at that, guys. Check it out. If we come up here, yes! Yes, our fusion reactor is built. Now we just need to get everything, like our fuels and stuff like that, into here. Very cool! Okay, so we have our reactor here. We're going to kind of uh, bring this out one more block all around. It's going to kind of, we're going to drop this down, I think, maybe one or two. Um... And then we're going to run the, the geranium or whatever it is underneath here. But over here we have um, a quantum entrop locker locker um, going in. Uh, these are using 500 Fe per tick to make some heat. Uh, and we are making quite a bit of, uh, of lithium here. As you can see, brine is filling up like crazy. Uh, this is doing really well. I'm actually very excited about how well this is doing. So, next thing, um, we need to turn the lithium into the tritium, and to do that, we need to run it through the uh, solar neutron activator. Now, I was testing something out earlier, and I discovered that the solar neutron activators actually work through the glass here. As you can see, it's still being used. It goes up to 10, and boom, it exports the, the polyam into to here. Um, so, I'm super excited about that, because I'm going to go ahead, and I think out the back here. I really hope that breaking this doesn't ruin it. Um, anyway, it, it's just power. If I do that... Okay, so it saved it. So we're actually going to be taking the lithium out of here. We're going to be having uh, three of these guys back here. And we're going to have a little viewing window like this. They're going to be behind some glass. And then... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to dig our way out. We're going to go like that, and we're going to put some glass there. Now, I found that any type of glass does work, so I'm going to try to use uh, some maybe mana glass to get some lighting there so um, there's no mobs that spawn up above it. So let's see here. Yes, yeah, so we get the perfect amount here, three of these guys. And the cool thing is we don't need to give any power to the neutron solar activators or anything like that. So then it's going to look really clear. It's going to look like this super futuristic base so then if we do this yeah so that gives off light and it will block any mobs from falling into it we're also going to use mana glass on the inside over here um so then we also need to go ahead and place these guys i can actually just go ahead and do this switch to a three by three and make sure we're putting these guys the right way so yep uh yep this is the way we want to put them like so they're getting sunlight um, let's sneak out over here. All right, and then we're going to come down. This is going to be kind of a labyrinth. Oh my gosh, that is a... Woo! Hello! Getting shot at. Okay, yeah, so... Fluid pipe. This is a gas, right? Yeah. Wait a second. That's right, we need to convert this. We need a rotary condenser. Yep, we got quite a few liquid lithium. Yeah, we're just going to use this guy because it's already got it. Perfect. We can put some speed upgrades in here so this thing should be just moving along. I think this room is going to look really good. We're also going to try to do something similar with the uh, the other one. All right, so fluid cable coming out of here. And uh, we can just take power directly out the bottom. Oh, man, this cave being right here is annoying. Um, okay. Fluids inject from the top. Good. 
And then we need the gas. Somehow managed to place that. Okay, and then Yep, there we go. Should see the lithium in here. Yep, and all we gotta do is just get power to this guy. That's not it. Bam, that's got power now. Uh, yeah, we can put the energy and speed upgrades in there. Once we're done, we're just going to go ahead and seal this back up. But this should... Is it nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime. I can hear it going. No worries. Okay. And let's see here. This might be a little bit difficult getting this stuff out of here and making it look good. Uh, so I think our goal is to have it come out here. Okay, yeah. This is going to be a little difficult. The aesthetic of this is very important to me. Okay, yep. So this is where the it's gonna come out here. Right? This is not the correct cable. Yep, tritium. Okay, so we might actually bring this up a block or two. All right. So we are pumping tritium into here. Let's take a look. Fuel tritium. All right, check that out, guys. That is, it's all 100% automated. We don't have to touch it anymore. Yep, so we're going to do, we're going to seal this all up. Um, and then what we're going to hide this, this is going to be down below by like two blocks and then it'll come up here and then over here as well. And then we might actually just put the sink down low. So it mirrors the side a little bit more. Um, but I, uh, I don't know. Do we want this here? I think we want this here. I don't know. I don't know if we want that there. We might just switch it up, put the outport cable on the back and have it run underneath like so just to make it look better, but that's all for later. Uh, we do have the tritium set up now, so now it's time for the derudium. And yeah, so that's gonna be on this side going that way. All right, let me get this place ready. Okay, so over here is gonna be our area. We might have to actually adjust the other side uh, because this one goes back 20 blocks and then it's, uh, it's built. Uh, but this one, uh, unfortunately, won't be able to because we do run into our our actual base on the other side of this wall. If we punch here, yeah, this is gonna be the mining room. So uh, we're gonna have a, a two block um, spacer in here so we can change this side of the wall and the other side if we needed to. So this is where we're going to be building our um, duradium thingamadoohickey. All right, should be all we need. And so we're just gonna build it out from this wall. Now I don't I don't know. Okay, so we do need to place them on the other way. All right. Yep, we got a. Well, we could place them the other way. Well, yeah, we're going to place them the other way. We're going to run the cable through the back of this wall. Now ah, we needed that to be there. Oh, well. All right, so these should all be upgraded here. Max speed, max energy, and a filter upgrade. Yep, so these are all going to be pulling heavy water when they have power. 
Um, yeah, so over here, like so. I actually think I want to bring this out one more block this way. All right, so just kick this out one more. We'll build the wall around it, and we'll be we'll be good to go from there. Uh, but what I did do is I did actually just extend this out one more so that each of these does have an infinite source with it. Um, so that way it shouldn't run out of any like any like power or any like water down here. It should be good to go. Um, so let's go ahead here. We're gonna need to pump these into an electrolytic separator here. Should just be able to do this. And then fluids input from the bottom. And then the duratium. This one's super duper easy. Uh, but we should be able... Yep, we can export out the top. That's it. Um, yeah, super duper easy. This is just a, a filler block for now. Um, and then, yep, we just run this cable all the way over. All right, there we go. If we look here in our fuel, we got deuterium, deuteridium, whatever it is, and tritium. Man, we are moving. Very, very cool. We might actually end up just running the cable down the this here downward and then just having like a glass top to it so we can see it going in. I don't know what we're going to do yet. We just got to get this thing up and running. Uh, so that's going to be this way here. This is going to be the power output. Um, so let's go ahead and chisel this part out. All right, we're just going to go 10 blocks that way. Actually, we might go a little bit more. Okay, so in this room here, we need to get all of this stuff. Um, do we have to convert this at all by chance? No, because that just went in already. Okay. So we didn't need a rotary condenser at all. I, I did grab that just in case. Um, but let's see here. We need you, and we need all of these guys. Yes. Okay, so next we're going to be doing these laser amplifiers here. Uh, we're going to be setting them up just like this so that they compound into one another. Uh, and that, that little red dot is facing the back of the other one. And then let's go ahead and start with these guys here. Um, so we go one, two, three. One, two. Th oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like so. And then one above. And then. Well, and then for this one, like so. Okay. So now we literally break the backs of these. And as you can see, we just need to get power back there. All right, so now we just run our cable. Bam a lamb.
Okay, there we go. And then all we need to do, set this up here. Energy export, turtle power. Okay, and so this needs to charge up quite a bit. All right, so while we wait for that one, we're gonna go ahead here, we're gonna grab our configurator. We're gonna come to the back here and then we can configure this. So I believe, yep, yeah, there we go, output. So this will output power. So all we need to do is do that. Wow, that takes up like all of the screen. And so let's get our hot bar configured again. All right, we're gonna need to make another quantum entangler. Oh, we don't need to make one, perfect. How's it we fire it now? We waste a lot of power, that's what happens. Oh, we forgot to do this thing, whoopsies. All right, so we need another one. These electro, no, not electrolytic separators. What do you do? Yes. We need a chemical infuser. Do I have one of those? I do. All right, so in the top here, this here, we need to fill this up with some stuff. So we're gonna be running some cable like you see here. All right, now we give this thing power and we should be good. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this here. Oops. All right, that's making the, the fuel. There we go, that's getting put into there. Let's grab some upgrades. Don't have any of those upgrades. Okay, we got our upgrades. And someone did mention in the comment section that you can just right click these upgrades in. And that is amazing. I love that so much. This is full. Okay, is everything okay here? Oh, we just have power. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to hook it up. Wow, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get this working here. Oh my goodness, that makes me laugh. We're just gonna get rid of all that oxygen there. So it's got one speed upgrade, a bunch of energy upgrades. Let's make some more. Really should get a teleporter in there so we can just zip back in and stuff, but we'll do that later. And what do you mean? Oh. Pillager. All right, these are all the fastest they can go, but this was not. Where are you at? Holy bananas. Eighty-one thousand RF per tick. Okay, we don't need you to be that fast, okay? Easy on the Wheaties. Four thousand RF per tick, that's okay. Goodness gracious, are you maxed out? Yeah, 
All right, so how good are we producing this? Pretty good rate, okay. All right. Let's go ahead and throw this guy in here. We can go ahead and break this fool. Okay. Break this guy too. We'll put him here to accept energy from the top. Okay. And Nope, none of power still. Oof. So I think we need 800 million. I didn't know if it was 800 RF. But as you can see... Yeah, we need 800. Okay. Oh. Let's try one. Actually, 10 maybe? I don't know. Yeah, so here in the plasma case, it's not getting hot enough. It's not getting hot enough. Okay, let me go ahead and just let this thing charge up. It's gonna take it a minute. All right, guys, so this is how the room is gonna look. I went ahead and moved it underneath here. Uh, we have marble all the way down. This is just pretty much like a, like just the gist of the idea, but I do really like it how um, you can actually see the cable underneath there. We'll be able to see when it's full. Uh, but right now it does have the deuterium thingamabobber in it. Let's go ahead and have a look here. Okay, so we're at 588. So we're going to wait till we have 800 million. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start from the other side here. And I'm going to have to go ahead and rearrange it and bring it in a little bit closer so that way it resembles that side a little bit more. All right, guys, so I went ahead and fixed this room up. It's very similar to the other room on the other side, but this is what we're looking like. I didn't realize you could see that, but uh, I don't really care. Um, well, we, if we if we wanted to, we could just kick these out by one block, and then we could fill that in, which I might end up doing just off camera to go ahead and clean this look up. But this is what it looks like. Uh, I ended up not not going all the way up to it. I, I went wrapped around here, and it kind of finishes it off and lets us know it goes further. Uh, but then now the tritium goes all the way over here, and now we have the derudium, whatever it is, all the way over here. So it looks it looks so much better. Um, eventually, I'm going to go through and swap all that out with the, uh, the gray concrete. But uh, guys, we should have enough to get our reactor going here. Uh, yep, we got 1.14, so let's go ahead and get this far departed. Alright, that is on. <gasps> no! Really? Where did that thing go? Oh, you have to redo it every time? Yep. Dang. Oh, that sucks. I forgot to put that back in. Now I gotta wait some more. Oof. Well, it gives me time to, to move those things out one block, I guess. Okay, so went ahead and fixed that here. Now this is filling up. These are being used. We're making the tritium. If we come all the way over here, we can see that this is filling up quite a bit. Um, so yeah, other than that, I think we might be good to go now. Okay, so we're still at 500. Okay, just need to wait just a little bit longer. Okay, so I figured out what it was. Um, I used the 4 over by the numpad, and I'm hitting it now, nothing happens, but if I hit the enter over by the shift key, it worked before. Wait, if I go 2... But if I go four again, enter on the by the numpad. Okay, yep, so that was the issue. Um, so we figured out what was going on, which is good. I'm glad that we figured that out. But now we need to go ahead and wait for this to start up. We need to let that charge up a bit, and then it will activate our reactor. And then after that, we will be, we will be good to go. So let me see. Can I get six out of this? Yep, we can get six. I don't know what six is. But it's six. We're gonna go back down to four. 
But all right, let me let this charge up and then we'll get this thing fired up. Finally figured out what was going on. Sweet. All right, guys. So, 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 so. All right. So we got this here. Fuel rate injection of four. This should work. Oh, yes. Yes, it's working. It's generating over 400,000 RF per tick. Okay, how are we doing on fuel? Slightly going down. What if we switch this to three or two? Okay. Still going down, but it is nighttime. Okay, now that it's the daytime, that's going up. We put this at four. Okay, it's using four. Still going up. Okay, yep, so the only issue is it was nighttime. Yep, this is still going up too. Perfect, guys. We are now generating 400, oh, almost 500,000 RF per tick. Oh, we're donating over 500,000 RF per tick. Holy heck, what happens when it gets full? Let's just see here. Okay, if you look, it's kind of just bouncing around up there. Stats. Passive generation, 800,000 RF per tick. It's looking pretty good, guys. Oh, man, we're generating 600,000 RF per tick right now. Oh, my gosh. Guys, this is great. Look at that. That is so cool looking. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, guys. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. 